So I'm gonna start building this uh, plasma cutter that I told in the last video uh, because finally my linear rails have arrived from China. It took a fair bit of waiting to get them here, but uh, they're here and they seem rather nice. I don't see any bad defects or or, or whatsoever. So they slide nicely and uh, I hope they're gonna work out. I ordered linear rails for this plasma cutter and for my work bee also that I'm gonna convert to linear but that's gonna be a future project because I need to use my work bee to mill out some parts at the moment and uh, and do some fabricating work maybe but yeah the plan is to use this C channel aluminium extrusion as my work bee has and I'm pretty much uh, using the same design overall because it's easy and uh, and fairly simple to to build. So now I have to mount these rails on these extrusions and uh, I'm using a dial gauge to get them parallel or as parallel as I can so that they would slide nicely and uh, So now I'm going to mount these rails onto the extrusion. And now I'm going to use my dial gauge to get it as as parallel with the with the extrusion, and then I just add the second rail and uh, use this rail to get the second one parallel. And uh, I have done already the first one, so that, that kind of works out pretty well. Seems pretty okay, except this spot here. Okay, I got these long ones done. Uh, all three of them. Two for the Y, one for the X, and now I have this little piece for the Z axis. And I'm just gonna put quickly some bolts in and uh, bolt this one down also. Uh, 
I got plenty of uh, these linear slides or the bearings. And these are pretty good. They're nicely packed and uh, it has the plastic thing inside so that the balls didn't disappear from inside and uh, nicely packed and oily and I'm pretty satisfied with the purchase that I did from uh, Aliexpress. And so my next plan or next mission is to figure out something to join the Y and the X axis. Let's see something here, some kind of plate and the X axis connects something like that. So I have to figure out some kind of um, some kind of piece that connects these together because the, I'm gonna use four bearings for each side for the y-axis it seems kind of overkill but um, but I have bearings so so I milled out a couple of plates for the for the connection points here, I made this kind of end cap for uh, for the y-axis ends. So that's gonna be something like this. This one goes to the end. Uh, it connects to the to the profile, and uh, then there's. Uh, Lima 23 uh, connection holes also and there's gonna be a um, motor here on the top and uh, I didn't do this center hole for the lead screw yet here because these are just mock-ups from MDF and these one goes they go here and uh, and I can put some profile down here and connect the other side but in the end it it's gonna stand on a steel frame or a steel base mm. so yeah I don't know if this is gonna stay like that or not but at least I can I can assemble the machine and just uh, just figure out some things how is this gonna work or or not and the other thing that I did is the Y and X axis connecting plate so this one goes here on the bearings and and let's say that this is X axis and this one goes like this so this is all gonna slide and X axis is gonna be mounted here. There's a hole for a lead screw and same thing for um, bolt holes for NEMA 23 and some connecting holes to the extrusion. I have to thread these holes and uh, I'll just bolt it down.